My name is Monica Ellis and I am a professional bassoonist. Primarily I play with the chamber music ensemble Imani Wins. I've had great teachers from the very beginning and with the case of the bassoon, I had a wonderful teacher in middle school who said, you need a challenge. I was playing clarinet, saxophone, quite a bit of piano as well. And uh, he said, why don't we give this a try? I probably would still be in the industry, but I think now I might be in management, in arts management in some capacity. I've always had the knack for organizing and uh, as well as just hospitality in a way. Um, and I don't think I would want to actually book the gigs, but I would enjoy managing groups or artists that, uh, that need that help, you know, when it comes time to facilitate. And I'm a creator of a mean spreadsheet, I tell you. <laughs> Pretty serious mishap happened when I was probably in the sixth grade, I think, and I was playing a, uh, in a recital for my clarinet, um, my teacher's clarinet studio. Well, I was holding the instrument at the top, maybe I was, might have been earlier than sixth grade, maybe more like fourth grade, holding at the top of the instrument, not a good idea. As I was walking on stage, the bottom half of the instrument came clean off <laughs> and hit the ground. And I was so much in shock that it didn't even occur to me to not go on stage. I just picked it up, <laughs> put it back together, went out on stage. Sure enough, there was definitely something wrong with the bottom half of the instrument and I couldn't play most of whatever I was trying to play. But somehow I got through it. And to this day, that same teacher who started me on the bassoon he and I are still in touch, thanks, thanks to Facebook, thank goodness. And, um, and he says, I remember Monica, when you went out there and just kept going, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Somehow I did it. I'm gonna take it way back to one of the early musicals that I saw when I first, I hadn't even moved to New York, but I visited New York. Jelly's Last Jam, it was like the early 90s, George Wolf, absolutely incredible. I still listen to that soundtrack to this day unequivocally is one of my favorite things i would have loved to have dinner with prince my favorite artist of all time that's who he is uh, and so if there would have been an opportunity to meet him and sit down and have pancakes or something with him a la dave Chappelle, uh, and when he uh when he mimics him that would have been the best thing in the world so.